What's going on, Asus people? So, <clears throat> I want to start this instructional video by how do you get to download the software? How do you open it up? How do you make it work? And, well, how do you throw an existing tune onto an ECU? I have some tunes. I've got a computer. I've got a camera. Might as well walk through it with you. So, bear with me. I'm going to go to asusefi.com and I'll show you where to download and how to extract. Okay, acesefi.com. We're at the home page. There's a little advert right here. Not a big deal. We'll X out of that. We're going to go to support, software. Wait for it to load. Scroll down until we see advanced tuning software. We'll give it a click. Check the box. Proceed with download. See, it says downloading. Let's make sure we're doing that right here. Yep, maybe I downloaded two copies. Just bear with me while that's going on. It likes to check for viruses in the background. So after it goes through this cycle, we'll get to the next portion of it. You see the little spinny up here in the corner? See me, I'm a floating head over here in the corner. Interesting, right? So usually takes a few seconds for this to work out, but there we go. Now behind my floating head on this particular browser, there's a, a download. So we'll just go ahead and click over to that into the screen here. Hey, look at all my private information. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, we're gonna extract it all, extract. And now that everything's extracted, we can go ahead and go into here, make sure there's no other ACES things brought up. And there's a little ACES icon right there. We'll click on it. More information. This is just saying Windows is protected because it's not supported by the App Store or something silly like that. Not a big deal. Run anyways. Let's see what we got here. It's doing its install right there. I like to right out the gate, go ahead and right click, pin to taskbar. Now we're going to be messing with kill shot. TBI stuff right here. So we're going to go ahead and click enter and it's going to bring us up. There we go. We're in there now. We can go ahead and maximize this window. It's not a massive deal. Now what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power to my bench unit. There we go. We're connected to a kill shot. Now this is just a kill shot that was at my desk. Not a massive deal. I've got the tuning cable which looks exactly like this right here. So I have it, actually I'm plugging it into one of the USB ports on my computer. I got a blue light on the ECU side, a blue light on the laptop side, and a flashing red light. Let's just go ahead and connect to this ECU and see what it looks like. Initializing CAN box, waiting, pulling data from ECU. ECU connected successfully, so we can sit here and look at exactly what we have. So it's populating all this num all these numbers right here. Now that we're connected to the ECU, there's a lot of things we can do. So like if I already have a tune, like from a buddy of mine's car or something like that, I can go over here, I can hit the open button. Let's see here. We'll scroll down. There we go, that was a kill shot tune. Loaded successfully. Very nice, so this is a tune out of somebody else's vehicle. So if I wanted to write this to the ECU, let's click write. Make sure it's powered on, so on and so forth. Click yes. We're writing this entire tune that I already had out of somebody else's vehicle or previous vehicle, for instance. I'm writing it to this ECU. So that calibration I already set that already worked out and runs really good. Let's go ahead and put in this as a good baseline. So a lot of these tunes that you know, we're, we're getting dialed in out there. We're going to make them available on the website uh, after we get some of this training stuff knocked out so everybody is a lot more familiar and comfortable with how this process kind of works. So now we got this tune. It's it's in there. And uh, as for a 348, which is really a 350, it's just we just probably got lazy and just put that in there. But, yeah, here's all the sensor data. You know, depending on what you're doing, you can you can change like the X point for your oil pressure sensor, for instance, of what it reads. Uh, there's some 1D tables for these as well. We'll go over here to see this one right here. It's 
listed as idle. This is all your idle parameters. Now I am releasing a document that has all the definitions list of what each one of these things actually mean and what they can do. So this, these videos and those documents will be coupled together probably in the same area of the website so that if you're kind of new to this or new to ACES, you'll be able to go through and actually make a lot more sense out of your first tune or your third tune or your 50th tune because there's always room to learn more. But you can see everything's laid out pretty easy. It's like they're right here, parked air versus ECT. If you got a big cammed up vehicle, you can go in here. You know, really nice stuff, nothing crazy. Uh, say I need more airflow. I can just go in here and select all this and hit like up, like the, well not up, the uh, right arrow. And it goes up 5% or t another 5% or another 5% or just like 1% up and down. So a lot of the arrows do a lot of stuff. Also, if you right click in here, give it, there we go. If we right click in here, you can see there's a lot of hotkeys too. So smooth selected, smooth all, so on and so forth. So, you know, in the tuning portion of this video, uh, we're going to be going through a lot of this stuff, getting the vehicle started up and all the parameters to really make a good startup and what makes a good idle and how we're going to adjust the fuel tables is one of the first videos we're going to be doing probably actually video number three. Uh, video number two is going to be me walking through these things, giving better explanation of each one of these um, different sections and where you really want to be tuning at and some little bit more theory and idea to this. The purpose of this video is just to get you guys familiar with, you know, downloading the software, opening it up, selecting the right system, you know, how to, how to download a tune into it. Now, here's a, here's a good one. Say, for instance, you're plugging into your laptop and you already have like a wizard file in here or what have you not. Whenever you connect the ECU, it'll bring that file over. But say, for instance, you've incidentally went into, let's say, your fuel table. Let's go down here. Let's go to mild table, right? Say you're in here in the fuel table and you accidentally deleted something. And you're like, well, what do I do now? You can hit you know, like control Z, which will go backwards. But what if you deleted something and then you went off of that and then you come back to it and you hit control Z and it doesn't go backwards. See, what you can do is you can go read ECU for this table boop, and whatever's on the ECU, if you haven't written it yet, it'll just come back to exactly where you was for this particular page. This read right up here Read, read and writes the entire calibration file. This read and write down here does just this page. So if we're, you know, we're down here in the idle section and we pull out a quick 10% and then we select some other stuff and smooth it, you know, make it nice and we just write to ECU. We just sent that information so we start it up and go give it a tune, go give it a drive, data log it, however we're going to do it. And that's you know, a little bit of the basics. Huh? not trying to go too quick over the stuff, but just giving you a good idea, a good grasp of a little bit of the basic navigation and the basic stuff about the actual tuning software itself. Now, this video series, we're going to go from everything from this is how you download it to, you know, we're doing full tilt. Uh, hopefully we got the dyno cleared off and we got something really cool and spicy on there for you. So I hope that helps. Um, we're going to keep pumping these videos out to you. Um, tweaking them for, you know, the comments and stuff you guys are leaving for them. Do you want us to focus on one thing? you want us to focus on something else? We'll do the best we can to uh, cater to your needs on this because we don't want people just aggravated that I don't understand one thing or, you know, explain this concept a little bit better. We don't mind doing it. As long as we can put it in video and make good sense for you, we're happy to do it. So I hope that helps.